Hosier Lane is one of the few places in Melbourne where graffiti is celebrated as art. It is also one of Melbourne's hottest tourist attractions, highly recommended by Visit Victoria. Every day, hundreds of people from across the globe come down to enjoy some of the best street art that the city has to offer. The urban art scene here in Hosier Lane has earned Melbourne international recognition for some of the most iconic places to take some tourist snapshots. And we saw it while we were passing on a tram. And we just, I just loved it. It jumped out at me and I knew we had to come back and see it. Yeah. It just looks so beautiful. Like the creativity is just out of this world. It's so unique. Professional artists, tourists and small businesses coexisted peacefully in Hosier Lane with police and the city council turning a blind eye to street art activity. Mega popular urban streetwear store Culture Kings moved in late last year in hopes to become a part of the urban art scene in Hosier Lane. However, not everything has been smooth with the store's transition into the laneway. Last month, the store called police on a street artist painting on one of the walls of their shop. This attracted outrage for some artists from the urban art community who were used to having no issues with authorities. And I think the spirit of this lane is that everyone can come here yeah, and paint what well they want. The store has released a statement stating that the incident was a mistake of a staff member who did not understand that painting in the laneway is not a criminal offence. Culture Kings have confirmed that the artist in question has not been charged. They also said they support artists coming down to paint in the laneway and believe it is an integral part of Melbourne street culture. Regan Tamanui, also known as Ha Ha, is a Melbourne-based artist who has held art exhibitions in Hosier Lane. He believes that allowing people to have free reign to create brings in revenue for the city. It's a, a tourist attraction and it's uh, like street art tours bring in like a million dollars for the city of Melbourne pretty much. The legal grey area that has allowed all this urban art to liven up the grey streets of Melbourne is important to many people. Tamanui has done workshops that uses Hosier's Lane unique semi-legal status to reach out to troubled kids. And I think kids need a, a, a place where they can go and do stuff without getting in trouble by the law and um, that's just one of the spots in Melbourne that's uh, pretty cool for young people. Even though Culture Kings has apologised, it does bring up the question if Hosier Lane should be heritage listed to protect its status as one of the world's best spots for street art. Rashida Wilson, Newsline.